Hey guys, it's Zach with Blade HQ and we're here at SHOT Show 2018 and we are at the ZT booth and we're talking with Jim from ZT and uh, he's going to tell us what he's got on the table. Alright, good deal. So let's start off with a uh, cool new piece from RJ Martin. So this is based on our, uh, if you remember a piece we came out with a couple of years ago, it was called the 0606 CF. Okay. Um, it was a larger version, it was a, I think it was a three and three quarter inch blade. Um, so we decided to come out with a slimmer, much more pocket friendly version of it. So this is the, uh, this is the uh, 0609. Um, so we have a full titanium handle. We have the, if you remember the 0606, we have that same kind of machine texture on it with the crown to the top of it and some stair stepping down to make it real comfortable in hand. Um, we have a, uh, a 3.4 inch blade of CPM 20 CV. And that's a big thing for us this year. We decided that for all these new products going forward, we're just gonna use CPM 20, we're gonna go to the highest end. Awesome. So we're gonna use CPM 20 CV for all of them. Right on. Um, Two-tone finish on the blade. Um, we have a frame lock with the, uh, with the, um, the steel lock bar insert reversible pocket clip. And then the big feature on this is that it also, like the original 0606, has RJ's STP pivot. So that's the see-through pivot, for those of you who aren't gonna know. Um, it's a really cool feature. It's got the hole going all the way through. Which makes it so you can't <coughs> use the Torx for it, right? Exactly. So what do we got for that? And so for that, we have a, a tool that we're offering. Um, this is called the STP tool. And it's a, uh, it's a two-piece tool. Um, it stays together with a magnet. I love the magnet. I think it's such a great design. Um, it's actually RJ's idea. Cool. Uh, he made a tool like that. We thought, hey, we'll make a little smaller version for, for this tool. So credit where credit's due. Yeah, that's great. So that just fits into the, uh, the six holes on either side. And uh, you can adjust your pivot that way. Awesome. And then if you would need a little extra torque on it, if you can't get quite enough on these, we have holes drilled through so you can slide an Allen wrench or a screwdriver through and make a T-handle and get all the, the power you need to adjust that. So, a great little piece um, with, the, with the bronze titanium finish on these handles. It's got a real nice look, almost coppery. Um, yeah. Awesome. And so, a great new piece for this year. Yeah, great knife. I'm really excited to hear about that steel too. I think that's a really great decision. So, this is a new piece from Dmitry Sinkevich. This is the 0462. So if you're familiar with our lineup, you might know that we have a couple other pieces from Dimitri. We have a baby brother version and a big brother version, the 0450 and the 0452. So in this case, last year we released a model called the 0460, which was a smaller knife, as you can see here at, at the top, with a, with a bronze looking carbon fiber handle on it, and, so, and a three and a quarter inch blade. And so this is the, uh, the full size big brother version with a 3.7 inch blade and this time we have a red carbon fiber on this version. Um, so again, a lot of similar great features. We have cool custom pivots from de designed by Dimitri. Um, we have a CPM 20 CV blade with a satin finish. We have a uh, titanium subframe lock on this knife. I'm sorry, well, titanium frame lock on this knife. Uh, a bent titanium clip on this piece, which is kind of a fun thing. So for those who like to anodize and do things, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that, they'll I like be able that. to make that yeah, clip yeah. match the handle. And the other big thing about this is for how big it is, feel how light that is. Oh yeah, that feels great. So it's a little hard to see inside of the handle, but it is filled with decorative weight relief pockets. They're oh, not just yeah. a big hole, they're actually really cool to look at. Yeah, I, I don't think we can get it with the camera guys, but it is really cool how they've, uh, I mean, yeah, how they've taken out some of that material. That looks great. Yeah, that explains it though, why it feels so good in the hand. It's That's amazingly awesome. light, it's actually 3.7, inches of blade and 3.7 ounces. It just worked out that way. Awesome. <laughs> we totally planned that. Yeah, no, it was planned. <laughs> um, the other interesting thing, something we've never done before, is you'll notice that this knife is completely sterile on the front. That's because we've added some little features like, again, I don't know if you can see with your camera here, but inside of the handle on the edge here, we have the zero tolerance logo written out. Great. So, yeah. again, kind of a second read thing, something you don't quite pick up right away, but totally. after you take a look at it for a second, you go, oh, look at that right there. Yeah, there it is. Awesome. Um, it's another great piece, and MSRP of $300 on this one. Cool. Right on. So finally, we have a new piece from Rick Hinderer. Um, a lot of you are probably familiar with this pattern, but we've done a cool things, some cool things to update it, um, refresh it, make it new. So, <coughs> first off, you'll notice we have a two-tone Harpoon Spanto blade. So, uh, 
personally one of my favorite blades that Rick does. Um, we've done the Spanto grind on it. Um, it took a little figuring out, but we got a real nice, real nice look to it, real nice feel. <coughs> um, so this knife, we've taken the uh, the 0392 model, which is based on Rick's Eclipse, and then we've added these these G10 textured overlays that are a lot like his new dagger model. Right. Yeah. The uh, the Maximus, and so this is really kind of like an Eclipse and a Maximus had a baby. Cool. And so this is the uh, the model 0393. We have thinner titanium scales. <coughs> we still have a, a, a steel, a hardened steel lock bar insert, so it's, you're not gonna have problems with galling, anything like that. Uh, we have a beautiful anodized blue finish on these. We have a hinderer style pocket clip. Um, and then the other neat thing about this is because Rick's knives are so modular, people like to customize them. Yeah, for sure. Um, you can't drop everything in here, but you can use Rick's pivot screw. You can use his filler tabs, and you can use his pocket clips. So some of those key features, you can put a titanium one, you can put the ones with the big, you can put steel flame ones with big skulls. Awesome, right on. Um, yeah, you can really whatever, customize Whatever the flavor you want. Exactly. Cool, cool. So again, MSRP of $300, uh, CPM 20 CV steel, KVT ball bearing washers, and yeah, another great offering uh, with another Rick Kendra design. Wonderful, that's awesome. That's great. There's some really exciting stuff. I'm, all three of these are just wonderful. Um, well, thanks for having us. Yeah. We appreciate it. No <laughs> and uh, that's all ZT has for us today, guys, but that's not all Blade HQ has for you. Make sure to check out our 2018 SHOT Show playlist here on YouTube, and uh, I'm sure you'll find something late and great that you're super excited about. And uh, I think that's all we've got, so thanks for having us.